Hey Triple! I've been asked a lot of times now to do a video on filing techniques. I'll be doing that another time. Um, but in this video I'll be talking about some of the mistakes that I see in filing. So what I did is I took three brand new chains. Um, so I took these brand new chains from steel and I messed up two of them. Okay, so let's file some chains. When I'm filing, I'm using this filing guide that will show me the angles. It's 30 degrees on one side and 25 on the other. I'll be filing at 30 degree angle today because that's what it says on the box for this chain and to keep them all in the same way. So it's not an apron as some of you thought it was, but yes, it does collect a lot of the dust too. So I guess you can use it kind of as an apron, um, but no, it's just a filing guide. I just feel so bad messing up this brand new chain. Oh well. <laughs> One, I filed too low, uh, creating an excessive hook, um, which will give you an aggressive chain, and um, well, it will cut quite good in the beginning. But because the hook is, has, the point is so small, it'll get dull really quickly and you'll have to sharpen it again really fast. So on this chain, I filed it too high or I used a bigger file. And apparently that was really hard for me to do because, uh, <laughs> I took most of this brand new tooth off. Um, so yeah, I guess I found my weak spot. I'll go too low before I go too high, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, um, this will give you a chain that doesn't really cut that good, but it will stay sharp for a long time. So the worst thing about filing in this way, this filing mistake is that um, it's actually dangerous to use this chain because when you're wearing chainsaw pants, the fibers inside, they're made in a way that the chain will catch them. So what actually does catch the fibers is the, the hook. And if you file it like I have, and you remove that hook, then you actually remove the safety feature of your chainsaw pants at the same time. So I do not recommend in any way to file too high. Well, it does take some time. It's not like the first time you file it high, it'll stop working. But if you do it like this and you actually remove the entire arch of it. Yeah, I think you get my point. And then the last one I just kept as it is. This is how steel meant it to be, so I didn't want to change that. So I just kept it as it is. And then I knew, used a brand new bar as well, just to keep everything nice, smooth and running. And just to make sure as well that the bar didn't change anything regarding the cutting. So let's see how they did.
as you can see as expected the chain uh, with the excessive hook did really good in the cutting but it will get dull really really fast because the the tip is so pointy that and that's the first thing that it'll hit the the, the wood so it will get dull really quickly um, of course the right out of the box chain did as expected um, perform really well and this chain really just it sucked um, didn't really catch the wood and I had to put on quite some pressure to get it to cut and it just caught like so crooked I can't even yeah so pay attention to your chain look at how it's supposed to be from the um, manufacturer and then just do that I forgot to mention the last chain that I'm doing so this is something I've heard a lot of people talking about some say it doesn't matter but I say it does um, filing too much on one side compared to the other so you get an uneven filing um, I've taken a lot of my uh, teeth on the left side of the chain and not that much on the right side this will cause my chain or my saw to cut really crooked um, but let's see what happens when we saw I'll be doing another video where I show you how I sharpen my saws and also how to control your depth gauge and um, what will happen if you don't and how everything works to my understanding. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I hope this video just gave you some idea at least of what you should pay attention to when filing. Um, if you've got another idea for me for a video to do or something to test out, let me know. And until then, please follow me on Instagram at Female Lumberjack. See you soon. Kind of a test on filing, I guess. Um, bye bye. <laughs>